Well, you know if the uh, oil cap's on upside down, it's a 710 cap, not oil. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's go behind you and tighten those down. So hopefully before my GoPro dies, um, we got the K-member on it, just loosely installed right now. And uh, got most of the engine dressed up, got valve covers on it, timing, everything on timing's done. Gotta figure out what we're doing with a couple accessories. Got the transmission out. Of course, we made a mess on the way out, but that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, we're gonna get the engine off the stand and get the flywheel and all that stuff put on the engine. Had a little bit of a delay, so we went to put the new flywheel on and realized that the flex wheel bolts or flex, yeah, the flex plate bolts are are shorter length than the flywheel needs. Flywheel's a little bit thicker. So we had to go, go run down to Summit and pick up some bolts. So added an hour each direction to go take care of that. But we're ready to resume on building the uh, clutch pressure plate. And then we'll make the transmission and then we'll put the long tubes on after that. Finally got the long tubes installed after we got the transmission mated. And last thing we got to do is put the K-member on under the the engine and then we're going to be ready to figure out how we're going to wrestle this thing into the car all right so we got the car up high enough we hope and the plan is to just take the engine and slide it straight under the car we're just splitting millimeters on the front bumper, but I think I think we can get enough to go through the opening of the wheel well. Um, at least that's the plan. So, um, wish me luck. <laughs> well, we got the engine in the hole centered up, and we got the car back down some. Not all the way down, but we're running out of daylight. It's already nine o'clock, so it's already nine o'clock. So we're gonna call it call it a day and to pick up another dime, another evening. See if we can't get this thing mounted up.